welcome to Money Minutes. Uh, 8th of March, as most of you know, is celebrated as International Women's Day world over. It's a day to uh, celebrate womanhood and to celebrate the contribution that many women have made in different spheres of life. Um, on that day, Mint Money is also uh, going to feature a, a special package to explore the relationship that mo uh, m women have with money. And many financial planners tell us that it's a very reluctant relationship. My name is Lisa Pallavi Barbara and Vivina Vishwanathan joins me and we are just going to take some time to explore this reluctant relationship and emphasize why financial planning is important for women. Hi Vivina. Uh, so you know, uh, many financial planners tell us that uh, women, uh, although they want to earn independently and be financially independent, uh, their uh, independence doesn't really stretch into actually managing the money that they earn and they, uh, they are happy to let other family members like their fathers or brothers or husbands do that money management for them. But, uh, you know, fact is that every person, every woman has uh, some desires. So if you're a single earning uh, woman, it could be to travel the world. Or if you're a married woman, it could be to travel the world with your family. But all that does require money. And uh, you have to make the money that you earn work harder for you. You have to save, you have to invest. Uh, but somehow women don't get into that area. And of course, there are contingencies in life as well, isn't there? Yes, Lisa, life is quite unpredictable and insurance is something that you should always have so that you can manage your uh, future in case of emergency. So one, uh, when it comes to life insurance, you have an uh, added incentive because uh, a host of insurance uh, products, uh, a host of in uh, insurance companies provide products at a cheaper rate. So if you look at the premium uh, for uh, women uh, in terms of term plans, it's uh, it's much more cheaper than that for men. And uh, when it comes to health insurance policies, there are a lot of uh, products that are tailor-made for, especially designed for women, So, which covers your uh, maternity, uh, which also uh, takes care of your uh, yeah, with cervical cancer and uh, 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 cancer as well. Sure, and uh, you know from what I hear that even in the banking product space, uh, women do get a benefit in terms of uh, better interest rates. Isn't that right? Yes, yes that's absolutely right. So uh, when you, if you look at uh, home loan, uh, in home loans uh, right now, uh, there are a select uh, PSU and private banks that give you uh, uh, interest rates which are much lower. Uh, uh, which in the range of six, uh, 15 to 165 BPS, which is a good, uh, 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 which is a very good rate for the women. And also, if you look at uh, education loans, you get a con uh, girl child gets a concession of uh, almost 50 uh, BPS, which is again a great incentive. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so there you have it. You know, it's very, very important to plan your finances uh, so that you can achieve your goals. If you are earning independently, make sure that you do control that and manage that money as well. And uh, as Vivina has informed us, there are many advantages for women across uh, financial products like insurance and banking products. Uh, so it does help to be financially aware about that. Uh, to know more details, uh, do pick up our special Women's Day edition and uh, log on to livemint.com. Thank you.